to another edition of Thunderdome! It's Thunderdome Thursday, baby! Let's go! Mario vs. Sonic, it's the battle of the century. Super pumped and excited for this. I hope y'all are too. Hey, I... <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with our main man, Mario! So, let's go! Yes, sir! Let's go! It's gotta be an epic their intro. Their is legendary and their fame unmatched. After battling for over two decades, this epic duel will finally meet a decisive end. Yes. I've been waiting for this forever! Mario, right. the whimsical Italian plumber. And Sonic, the hyperactive hedgehog. I'm I know my boy Dylan's over here going to analyze their weapons straight up Sonic. I, it's so tough to choose battle. against one or the other because Sonic is legit, man. Mario is one of the star children and possesses many special abilities with the intent of protecting his home, the Mushroom Kingdom. Yep. Even as a baby, he was obviously destined for greatness. Uh, you hell yeah. You dinosaurs serving you before you can even speak. You know, you're gonna do great things. He is well known for his incredible athleticism and unmatched jumping ability. Who says white guys can't jump? Plus, he's a powerhouse with Why? the strength to lift heavy objects and crush enormous castles. He also uses his bare fists to smash solid brick. With his jumping skills and weight, he can pound and crush his foes into oblivion. And if he needs some extra firepower, well, he's got an entire arsenal of Depends power. on the weaponry, too, if he gets it. With it, Mario is he gonna have all these in his arsenal right away? Really? I always thought the flower was just really spicy. He can create and manipulate fire to produce a variety of devastating attacks. He's also got this frog suit thingy. While wearing it, Mario can jump even higher, swim even faster, and breathe underwater. The only problem is, no one's really gonna take him seriously wearing that thing. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> oh, look at him. Several different power-ups have granted Mario the hat. Flight before, but none as well as the cape feather. With it, Mario can fly for an unprecedented and he can amount of bounce time. shit the back. I'm pretty sure. Mario's entire body into indestructible living steel. But while Metal Mario is extremely heavy, his strength and speed are boosted, giving him ten times more power and just as much agility as before. The Star Man envelops Mario in a blinding aura of compressed energy, granting increased speed and complete invulnerability for a short time. Touching a normal enemy in this state will instantly kill the foe. And while it's not technically uh, a power, Mario has a hammer that can crush almost anything. It seems Mario's always popping shrooms to get more power. And with the Mega Mushroom, I mean, he's not wrong. Oh, Mo God. People, plants, We're including hell, Mega Mushroom? Mario okay. Battled a larger variety of enemies than any other is Cappy in, in this, though? Whether a foe is large or small, scary or goofy, dumb or deadly, nothing has ever proved to I guess, I guess uh, Odyssey hasn't woman. happened yet. She's always getting kidnapped, and he's always showing up at the wrong castle. True. Somebody needs to throw a GPS tracking brake on that bitch. He's fairly impulsive and not much of a strategist, preferring to quickly fight his way through problems before thinking things through but that might be his matter. issue Italy's greatest hero can power through that might be his downfall me, Mario. it's a me and Mario Sonic the Hedgehog is the fastest thing alive and yep. a freedom fighter battling to save the world from the tyrannical Dr. Ivo Eggman Robotnik he's not so bad for a tree hugging hippie Sonic's most notable ability is his speed he can easily break the sound barrier in mere seconds. While his top speed is unknown, he has clocked in an average of 765 miles per hour. Holy crap! This guy must blow through shoes! He can further increase his speed with his trademark figure eight technique. But he's not just fast on his feet. He can curl up into a spiky ball and rip through his opponents with a spin attack. His homing attack rockets toward an opponent and can hit multiple times. And with his spin dash, he can reach top speeds almost... I don't know, man. This guy not vomit? During his adventures, he has used a variety of different shields to improve his abilities. Each shield can deflect minor projectiles and have environmental advantages. So wait, 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 wait. So that means him using the flower will be like... Well, fire and oh, so God. Underwater. No shit. But with it, Sonic can use a fiery dash attack. The lightning shield can't survive in aquatic environments either, but it gives Sonic a mid-air jump for further aerial control. He and can't. with the bubble shield, he can breathe underwater and control his jumps with a powerful bounce. This Why is so crazy. Why do we keep crazy. mentioning water, you may ask? Because he can't freaking swim. Sonic's ultimate power-up, however, Ooh. isn't a shield at all. After absorbing thousands of power Mario up, might have the Sonic advantage. Sonic has become an embodiment of chaos. Mario might have the, the advantage with the frog suit. Emeralds, Sonic can tap into their incredible powers and summon the form of Super Sonic. Super Sonic can fly, breathe underwater, and is completely invulnerable. Not to mention his speed. Is this you say run playing right now? Most things that are unbelievably powerful, it has a time limit. Without a steady supply of power rings, it can't even last a full minute. And when the form finally subsides, 
Sonic returns to normal at peak physical form, regardless oh. of his condition prior to the transformation. Oh. Sonic's always risking his life saving the world from all kinds of dangerous robots and demigods. He's kind of a dick. Sonic is cocky, arrogant, and addicted to action. He gets cranky and unstable when he's cooped up for too long. And if you ignore him, <laughs> he'll straight up believe you. But despite his rough personality, he'll do whatever it takes to save the day. Ooh, I like to hang, but I got a juice. I got to juice. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate. <laughs> I'm being dumb. But first, I gotta get me some rock. Okay, okay, okay. So they did scare me a little bit with some of that Sonic information. I'm not gonna lie, especially with him like using the bubble to like his shields for fire. Gone. His his fire power is basically useless. The underwater thing is going to be the one thing that makes like the difference maker for Mario. Besides that, though. Unless Mario is being a little bit smarter, which he's not, because he just thinks. He doesn't think. He just action. I think Sonic might get it, but I'm still gonna say to Stu. Uh, I'm still gonna stay true to the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Pick and Flick himself, Mario. So hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong on this. Okay. Sonic's just chilling, waiting for Mario just to get here eventually. All right, Chubby. Let's <laughs> settle this. Let's go. Let's go. Doesn't matter. I'm waiting for that fire shield to pop up right away. Okay, I'm gonna beat his ass. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, the uppercut. Statue. Mario is a statue. Just wait. What's the point of, like, out racing him? Y'all are dumb as fuck. Mamma mia. Wait. Oh, I thought Sonic would escape because he's super fat. He can't swim. But look out, it's a me! Froggy Mario! Yeah, he done. He done. He can't swim. He can't swim. He can't swim! You're done, dude! There's no way that he comes out of this unscathed. There's no way. This. Please let this be the end so I can be right again. Yeah? Now I'll show you. How's that, plumber? I don't know, man. Indestructible. It doesn't matter about the form, though. He, he'll come back in peak form. That's the only so problem. You're a bit tougher than I thought, huh? But now it's time for me to finish this. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Godzilla, bitch. That tickles. That tickles. Uh oh. I don't even know how I don't even know how Mario's gonna win this right now. Now's my chance. I thought I thought we had it with the water. Our power up seemed evenly matched, countering blow for blow. Mario was even able to counter the unstoppable Super Sonic. But with their arsenals exhausted, Mario was no match for Sonic's natural speed. Even if they had used their lesser known power ups like the Ice Flower or Super Emeralds, there's no reason to say the result would be any different. It wouldn't. Looks like Mario just couldn't keep up. The winner is That's Sonic so Hedgehog. Alright, so what's next? Next time on Death Battle. Next month, we're doing something a little different. Okay. Between two people, everybody wants to see fight to the death. Because we hate them. 
Because we ate him. Okay, um... I was shocked because I was for sure... I was for sure Mario had it when he was underwater. I was like, yes, let's go. He can't swim. And then Super Sonic came out and I forgot about Super Sonic. Mario tried everything in his power and it was just not enough. So Sonic wins. I can't hate. There's nothing he could have done. It was over. The water was his one advantage. And since Sonic out beat him on that, that's it. Game over. GG. Wipe his hands clean. See you next time. So, hey, if y'all enjoyed this episode and you're kind of curious about who the two people are, hit that like button. You want to be part of the greatest nation ever, the Reggie Nation. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below if you were a little shocked there that Sonic just popped out of nowhere with those camera, with those chaos emeralds. And then, yeah, hey, don't forget to hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss out on any more amazing content coming to the channel. And as always, folks, 